Aries, this is going to be your reading for April. It's going to be any card reading, so I'll just flip any card. Um, I've been like going back five months in my reading, so I would recommend looking back five months on any reading. Um, I have like put some of them on playlists, so if you look on Aries playlists, there'll be some from like five months ago. It may be relevant now. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, yeah. If you resonate with this reading, you can write me a comment. You can like and share, that would be really good. It helps get the video out there. And if you like it, you could be dealing with a cancer at this time. Uh, or moving away from a situation. Um, what else was I going to say? I don't know, it's gone. This is for your sun, moon or rising, Aries. Right, let's go. Because they're jumping. You could be dropping burdens at this time as well, right? Aries, sun. Aries Moon, Aries Rising. I'm going to read from the bottom, Aries. Yeah, you could be juggling at this time. You could be uh, having an ending in a situation because you're given to plenty. Maybe you've been waiting for something to come along. That could be a Leo with a Sun card there. Somebody could be shining a light on the situation. But this cycle has come to an end. There's an end of cycles. The wild card, the last card in Tarot. Yeah. Could be a Leo involved, could be a Scorpio involved, could be a Taurus, could be Aquarius involved, yeah. Somebody could have left you out in the cold or you could have left somebody out in the cold. That could have been you, Aries, because there's the Emperor card. You could feel like you hold a chess piece. You could be trying to send somebody messages or they're sending you messages. Maybe on a third party situation. Maybe this is something you keep going back to, keep on trying. But you always end up up at night in heartbreak, yeah. Could be a King of Pentacles involved, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. That person could be ignoring you at this time, Aries. Yeah, there could be over choices that they have. Maybe you've had an enlightened moment with this situation because of the page of swords there. It's like she's holding light bulbs, so maybe you're enlightened. And there's birds there as well. It could be to do with your intuition. Yeah, um, full clarity is going to be given in the situation as well. And uh, messages you don't want to see are going to come in. The rest for the wicked Aries. Neptune could be relevant, which is a visionary. It's your um, soul's purpose. Uh, yeah. It's like these, it's like spirit, matter, so it's like the above, the below, all that stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, conscious, like the cosmic unconscious, all that stuff, like going out there, like stuff, yep. Multiple signs could be relevant, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, multiple houses are the third house, the sixth house, the ninth house, the twelfth house. So third house is Gemini, that's to do with... Um, communication sixth house which is virgo which is to do with service to others uh stuff like that sagittarius is the ninth house which is spirituality and then pisces is like otherworldly <laughs> how i see pisces taurus ascendant could be relevant and this person turns tricks in their spare time to moonlighting yeah it's their part-time job they're burning when they peace they got an std and they got pregnant to keep a mofo and they did one anyway chiron could be relevant that is is a wounded healer the planet acts as a channel for spiritual authority to manifest on earth so yeah the wounded suffering so yeah, it basically Sharon shows you your wounds, your childhood wounds, your wounds that you had to heal, even your soul's wounds, even deeper like than your childhood wounds, like your soul's wounds. Family could be relevant in this situation. Yeah, you could need to keep your guard up from family at this time, maybe. It could be a Leo involved in that situation with the Queen of Wands. That could be you, Aries. You could be looking at a light. You could like have, you know, done a bit of she looks to me like she's doing some yoga, yeah. Could someone could have caused you heartbreak there, and a Leo could have caused you heartbreak, yeah. You could have been doing some magic on this person trying to manifest something could have involved a cancer pisces or scorpio yeah maybe you wanted to watch something grow or you were watching something grow but maybe a scorpio was involved or there was an end to the situation maybe you wanted a rebirth but maybe something happened and you ended up getting the world cup which is an ending of cycles yeah you could be waiting for your ships to come in this time and a family situation what happens have a new beginning but you know judgments coming in the situation you could need to balance the situation out as well and then we've got temperance card which is sagittarius Yeah, shuffle these a couple of times. I'll read these from the bottom of two. Oh, I've got one that joined onto my ring. Yeah, we've got the two of... You're uncertain at this time. You can't make a decision at this time. Maybe you're a little bit blindfolded to some truths at this time as well. It's 
causing you indecision. You're back to back with someone, so you're ignoring someone at this time. It may be you're looking at having a view of something, but you're not seeing everything that's going on underneath you. There could be like anything up to six people involved in a situation that you're not seeing. You could be guarding yourself, Aries. You've got a red hot poker there. That could mean something. You could have an STD. Yeah, you could need to heal from a situation, a star card. Could be to do with a Leo, the Queen of Wands there, where there's been a complete ending. Maybe somebody went and picked their cherry somewhere else. He's got, got two cherries. He's having a good old pick off there. <laughs> right, what else we got? Yeah, Page of Swords. You could be sending a message of truth, where you want recognition and rewards in a situation, maybe. Right, let's get some different cards. Change this up a little. Uh, yeah, some of them. What have we got? Yeah, you could be guarding some money at this time as well, and two houses will be in a situation maybe to do with some inheritance money where some people are having a good old dig, but I believe that's being sorted out. Yeah, could be sending messages of love, but Libra is here, the crazy clown. Yeah, that's also justice in a situation. Something's going to be leveled out, something's going to be equal out in a situation. It's that time of year. Yeah, and then we've got the Eight of Cups. Some of you've walked away from, but maybe when you walked away, you took some money. Maybe people were fighting over a situation. Someone's seen, and I always see him as a copper coming in for some reason. Yeah, could be to do with a Black Widow and also a Capricorn who's holding some Capricorn, sorry, an Earth sign, Virgo, who's also Capricorn. They could be hiding some money under their arm as well, and that could be to do with a situation where somebody moved away. Maybe they moved away from a blessing in disguise. Maybe there's a moment of signed Aries. Yeah, and you were looking back at what you'd harvested, what you gathered, but you realised you got yourself stuck and five people in the background been watching you do that, even though you're pretending you're asleep and you've got a mask on, you're not asleep, you're really awake. And that could be to do with a Pisces cancer or Scorpio, where you maybe you did some sneaky behaviour, maybe you moved a dead body, because <laughs> he's moving a dead body. And maybe there was illusions and lies talked under the moon, maybe. And multiple stab wounds could be relevant, the letter R could be relevant, this actually matters. A car crash has happened, I'm afraid there's no more filter, and this person's gone totally insane with all the magic they do. Yeah, and um, what else we've got? Take care of financial needs, price is ascendant, so it's knowingly spreading an STD, and Libra's son could be relevant. Yeah. And I got that in Libra's reading area, so either you're just spreading an STD or Libra is. The emotions could be relevant at this time. Pluto could be relevant. And psychokinesis or telekinesis allows allow to influence, yeah, so you can move things without touching them, basically. Your ex stole your national insurance number and is about to get caught. Plotting going to rob you and lying about a child, the letter E, erectile dysfunction. That's probably that STD. And Scorpio Moon, yeah, this person hurts themselves for attention. Secret society and someone's in trouble with the police, things like a canary, the letter E. And there's a lot of hidden fuck buddies. Big setup. You're about to go insane in a membrane. Somebody could be dying. Light worker could be relevant. Someone could have a god complex. Or they could need to speak to God. <laughs> yeah, out of body experiences at this time. I'm not going to go much further, Aries. Because you know it, you know it. And yeah, June's relevant. Evil eye. Oops, that's jumping. So some of don't want to see the evil eye. And they're all trying to fuck you up. But you know to take a seat. Bad karma. Scientology. Freemasonry. <laughs> And be willing to forgive. Viagra could be relevant. Sister or brother could be working and fucking this person at the same time. Fallen down all the way. October and Sagittarius Sun. Fuck ups, fuck fuck ups. And heard it all before. November, money, money, money. Someone's having twins. And they're skin penniless. So that H and hospice could be relevant. Somehow, Aries. Yeah, don't give up. Just take life slower. One in a million. And someone's coming back from your past. Let go of old, unproductive ways. You're outgrowing your past. New future beckons. Believe in yourself and see yourself doing well and you will. Use reason over emotion and passion and change. The changes you, that you're going through are positive. Someone may ask you to marry them and plan for success, not failure. Love heals fear. Yeah, and you always knew someone was up with this person anyway. And your actions speak louder than... Yeah, your actions measure your love, actually. And where do you want this to go? Somebody could even be hiding in your loft. It's okay to be different. And this is becoming an addiction you need to end. Change to a chance to start again. And da-da-da. 
love from a parent no matter what they do they love you in spirit anyway anyways i'm gonna leave it there with love and light take care of yourself bye bye